Hey everybody, it's Gary with Barnes Life Georgia Edition. And uh, I know it's been a while since we've uploaded any videos, but uh, we've got a pretty good excuse. And I wanted to let everybody know what's been going on and why we haven't been doing anything. Um, so it goes all the way back to August 1st. Um, my wife's father unexpectedly passed away on August 1st and uh, it was a result of a cardiac arrest and uh, if you don't know that's when your heart just stops beating uh, as opposed to a heart attack when there's a blockage that causes the heart to stop beating uh, so <clears throat> anyway he uh, he had a condition, and I, I don't know if there was a scientific name for it, but there's a, a clump of uh, nerves and electrical, there's a clump of nerves and electrical, it's called a block. They call it a left line brachial block or a right line brachial block. And I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if it's where I'm motioning for it to be in your chest or not, but basically what the doctor described was in that block there are, um, it's like the wiring for your heart. You, it, it tells your heart uh, when to beat and how often to beat and all that. It's, it sends signals. And every now and then over the probably past 10 years, Jack would pass out. And uh, it was a result of this left line brachial block. And um, so he would always come back from passing out, you know, and um, he knew that the issue was there. Um, the doctors are saying that what caused his heart uh, to stop and not start back up again this particular time was they think it was a left and right brachial block uh, where both sides didn't send the message for his heart to beat. And when he, when he passed out and fell, uh, it was 10 to 15 minutes before the uh, ambulance could get there. So, unfortunately, he, he was gone before they even got there, I believe. I believe before he even fell down, he was gone. And uh, we, uh, we really miss Jack, and uh, of course, and... Um, what can you say? He, you weren't expecting it. Um, he was the backbone of our family and we all loved him very much. And, uh, but, uh, that, that's the reason, well, that's the start of it. And, uh, but got but going back prior to him passing, um, Lisa's mother, uh, had a brain tumor and the brain tumor was uh, was to be uh, removed August 10th. It was a benign tumor, and the doctors were confident they could get it out. And they planned on August 10th, I believe, they were going to take it out. And when uh, when J Jack passed away, of course, they had to delay the operation, the surgery, so um, so that we could lay him to rest. So that's what we did. We delayed the surgery, and we laid Jack to rest on the 12th of August. And then I think it was two weeks after that, um, on a Wednesday, she had, uh, Lisa's mother had her brain tumor removed and uh, 
that's presented a whole lot of other issues um, that we've had to deal with as, as far as uh, being there for her in the hospital and uh, travel back and forth to the hospital. Thank God Lisa has two other siblings, a brother and a sister, and they were, we were able to split it all up three ways. And uh, so we've been very busy since August 1st with all of this. And uh, Charlene's surgery was successful and she is, uh, she's in currently in rehab and we're about to move her uh, from the rehab at the local hospital here to the rehab at, uh, at a assisted memory care type living facility. And um, <clears throat> it's a very nice place and they have people that can work with her and open up the new pathways to get her memory back and they are very confident that she will get everything back um she's she's doing really good already and we uh we just try to keep encouraging her and keep things positive and uh we appreciate any prayers that you guys would want to do for her and for us it's very uh it's a very trying ordeal this this whole thing with her surgery alone but then you add to it the passing of Lisa's father and uh, it's just it's just too much so we uh, we're sorry we haven't put any videos up of late just wanted to let you guys know what's going on and um, there are going to be some things uh, that are happening actually today one of them happened we were able to get uh, the boys out here, Logan and Trent, came and helped uh, disassemble an above ground pool that we had that we, it was very old and it was a lot of problems with it. So we disassembled that and uh, we're removing that and um, we're going to be replacing that pool with deck space. So we're gonna add on to the deck that we had and maybe put a, a fireplace or fire pit on there some kind of way and uh, we'll be doing some videos of that when all that gets started and uh, I'm also uh, building a fence you may have I may have mentioned that on previous videos and I'll get some footage for the of that for you guys in the near future but uh, just wanted to touch base with y'all and uh, thank you for your prayers. Let you know what was going on. And for those of you who didn't know. And um, hopefully we can get some uh, content on here for you guys to watch in the very near future. So uh, we thank you for watching. And uh, thank you for being subscribers to Barnes Life Georgia Edition. We'll catch you on the next video.